I will never give up. 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 I will never, 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 never give up. I will 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 never give up. Good day to everyone and greetings from Tucson, Arizona, outside as you can see. I'm Brother Johnny Green with another news from WMO. I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad that you could be with us today. Um, for the last uh, week now, I've been in the house uh, with a flu bug, and I'm feeling a lot better today, and so I wanted to do this outside. And I want to use this tree behind me as an example for something, and Pray that it will be a blessing to you. About a year ago, we had a very bad freeze here in Tucson. It had gotten down to around 5 degrees, and that's not very cold to maybe a lot of you. But to us, it's very, very cold. It killed a lot of shrubs and a lot of trees in the Tucson area. And of all the fruit trees that we have in our backyard, one of them was really affected. It's this lemon tree that I'm standing in front of. This lemon tree was just about gone. Uh, when Linda and I, after the freeze, a week later, just about every single limb on this tree died. And we didn't give up on it. We just went ahead and kept watering it and kept fertilizing it. And what we did is that we took, and we, we took this tree and we pruned it. We pruned all the dead stuff off of it. And, uh, I mean, this tree was as ugly as all get out. I mean, <laughs> if you'd have just looked at it, you said, oh, just, you know, cut it down. Let's get rid of it and go get another one. But, no, we just prayed to prayed and asked the Lord to touch it and laid hands on it and, and uh, then we um, we kept watering it, kept fertilizing and now you can see it's it's full grown back where it used to be. The only thing that it doesn't have right now is that we've noticed that because of the freeze it, it hurt the uh, pollinization of the flowers and um, it doesn't have any fruit on it right now but the leaves on it are very strong, the limbs are very healthy and it's starting to look good and it kind of reminds me of myself you know, I remember when the Lord got a hold of me about a year and a half ago, and I had gotten pretty discouraged, and, and uh, I met the team with WMO, and they were a very uh, much of an encouragement to me. And, boy, did I need a lot of pruning. I had a lot of ideas, and I had a lot of things that I thought, you know, was the truth, you know, and, and uh, wasn't really doing much for the Lord. And um, so God got a hold of me through the team, and team was able to be an encouragement to me and I've been able to be an encouragement to others and sometimes you know when we go through chastening and we go through um, pruning from the Lord and sometimes it's not easy but it's very ne necessary in order to be fruitful for the kingdom of God I am grateful to be a part of the WMO team today and I and I'm very thankful for what I see the Lord doing sometimes we just have to have a little patience so maybe you're out there and Maybe you need encouragement today. Maybe you need something from the Lord. And um, I tell you what, if you'll be patient with me, and I'm going to be patient with you, and we'll just see what the Lord does for us. The timing of the Lord is very, very important. And if you ask God to help you and to show you what you can do for the kingdom of God, I believe God will do that. Basically, all we're trying to do is be an encouragement and give you the right kind of a direction. Um, I could stand here and read you quote after quote and scripture after scripture, about preaching the gospel, about going to all the world and being a witness for the Lord. But you know what? If you start doing those things yourself, you start praying, you start seeking the Lord, and you say, Lord, if you'll just give me direction, if you'll prune off anything that doesn't belong there, Lord, and let me be fruitful for your kingdom, I believe God will hear your prayer and I believe God will do something for you. I just want to bring some news. Brother Ramon came by the other day. Brother Ramon Martinez from San Antonio, Texas. He's the brother that has the Lighthouse Network, and he has this network in five languages. It's known as the Message Radio, and you can find Brother Ramon's network at Lighthouse Network, Inc., I-N-C, dot O-R-G, dot org, and you can click on there, and you can hear a 24-hour broadcast in five different languages, so you pick your language. I hope that the one that uh, you listen to is there. And pray for Brother Ramon that God will continue to bless him and use him for his glory and honor. Also, we want to remember Brother Darrell Robson. Brother Darrell left for 
uh, uh, Malawi uh, on Thanksgiving Day a couple days ago. And we ask that the Lord will continue to be with Brother Darrell and give him a safe trip and use him for his glory. Uh, Brother Daniel Martin and Brother John Whirlin, Brother uh, Frank Dutton, Brother Justin Brown, different brothers are up in Phoenix attending the Phoenix Tabernacle Convention meetings up there. Um, my wife and I did not have a chance to go because of me being in the house over there not feeling well. But, um, and you know, and I'm, I, I wish I could have gone, but you know what? God knows everything, and God's timing is always perfect. I just, I just praise God for the privilege to just to be able to just say, Lord, you know what we have need of when we have need of it. And as I mention these brothers, pray with me for them that God would just use them for His glory. And if that's all we can do, praise God, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it with all my heart. Uh, Brother Don Furon is going to be going to the Philippines on Monday. He'll be returning on the 21st of December. Uh, Brother Mark Doherty and Brother Josh McPhee will be going on uh, Wednesday. They'll be returning on the uh, 18th of December. Uh, brother and sister um, Daniel and Chris Martin are going to be going to the Philippines sometimes next week as well. We want to keep them in prayer. We have the upcoming Harmony in the Desert. We also have the Winter's Retreat in Wisconsin. We want to keep that in prayer. We also want to uh, remember the radio broadcasts in Uganda and in the Philippines and in Peru, that God will just continue to uh, reach out and find that last one. Amen. We also want to pray for the invitations that we're receiving from Ghana, from um, uh, the Congo, and from Tanzania, that God will just work that out the way He wants it to be done. And um, we just want to keep each other in prayer that God will just continue to, to bless and uplift each one. Um, would you just take for a moment with me as we bow our heads? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this privilege, Lord, to come before you, and we appreciate your mercy in our life, Lord. Lord God, we don't understand sometimes why we go through things that we, that we do go through, but we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to your purpose. Lord Jesus, may we fulfill your purpose, Lord, fulfill your will by doing something for the kingdom of God. It's not because we have to, we want to, Lord. We desire to find that last one, and I pray that you would help us, Lord. Bless each and every one that's tuning in, and I just pray that, God, you will just pour out a blessings upon them, Father. May the Holy Spirit lead us and guide us, is my prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. And before I leave, I just wanted to say that uh, the tape of the week is the flashing red lights of His coming. And may the Lord bless you, and if there's any prayer requests that you have or any information that you would like to send me, please send it to me at Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y, at W-M-O dot org. And for now, God bless you. I will never give up. 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 I will never, 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 never give up. I will 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 never give up.